Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my bottle saw fighter. It's over here. It's a device that goes inside of a bowl. And um, when you press the bottle down on it, it'll saw fight the bowl. Yeah, I'm sorry, the wine bottle. Um, if you open it up, it has directions, but the directions aren't that great. Um, so why um, I'm making this video is to show you how to actually work this thing and um, get get results from it that you want to get from it. Alright, so I have my bowl and the other pieces here on the table. But you know one of the things that I, you really have to see is this little BB thing. Okay, you see there's a flat end of it and a round end of it and there's a little uh, ball bearing in the inside. And that ball bearing will um, go in and out when you pump it. So you need to know um, how to position that, that ball bearing. So I'm going to set up my, my pad here. Out of the way. And perhaps put some light on. So hopefully you can see things a little bit better. All right, now, this device has an inner probe, and it goes inside of this over here, but one of the things we need to note is on the inside of this, you see there's nothing there, this BB device is going to need to go in. More on that in a second. There is also a second BB device on the inside of this base and a screen on the back. So what's important here that you need to know, two things, is that when you clean this all out, after you're done sulfiding your bottles, all these metal parts are going to get rusty unless you rinse them out afterwards and let them dry. If you just leave the sulfite solution on there, they'll rust out. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is these little ball bearings have to go in a specific direction. You could put them in two different directions, but if you put it in one way, it's not going to work. And the key here is that the round side is down. The round side here is down. Okay, so we have one here. All right. We need to put a second one inside of here. Now you'd be tempted to put the round side up in this, but that's wrong. It's not going to work. You'll be very frustrated. Okay, so you're going to put the round side down. And basically the way it works is that as you're pumping down, fluid will come up. It'll push that ball bearing up. And as it comes back down, as that BB comes back down, when you finish pumping, it'll make like a, a vacuum, like a pump, coming up so that it'll keep, when you're pumping this up and down, it'll let the fluid go in one direction and not the other direction. Regardless, you don't really care about that too much. What you do care about is making sure that this goes in the flat side up and the round side where the BB's coming out down. Because if you put it the wrong way, you'll be pumping forever and nothing will happen. All right, so, and the directions really don't tell you that. You're going to take your spring, put it in there. Take this assembly and put it into that sleeve. And I'm going to take this, put it on top of this device and screw in the base. Now you'll notice you just heard the spring just move over to the side. That's okay, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to put this in the bowl. And you'll see that it only fits in 
There's grooves in the ball where it fits. Alright, so the way that this works is we have our wine bottle. We're going to fill up our bowl here with some sulfite solution. And we're going to take our wine bottle, put it on top, and pump. Now in the beginning, it's going to take a little while of a bunch of pumping to get the fluid to go up into the device and fill the device. But then after that, as you pump, it'll be squirting water and sulfite solution all over the inside of the bottles. So you're going to be doing some pumping like that. And the bottles will then have sulfites in them. What you would do is put them in your bottling tree. Put your bottles in your bottling tree upside down. And um, the sulfite solution will drip out the excess but it'll make a thin film of sulfide stride to the inside of your bottles that'll protect your wine from bacteria and oxygenation. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. And it's a great device. I think it's pretty much essential. I like it a lot. The alternative to this would be to fill all of these up with sulfites, shake it around, pour it out, and put it in the tree which if you're doing a lot of bottles, it takes a long time. This device will mount to the top of your tree, your bottle tree, and um, you basically wash out your bottles, go to the top of your tree, boom, 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 a couple of pumps, let the excess strip out, put it on a tree, you're done. You could crank out a bunch of bottles that way with this device, and I think it's totally, totally worth it. All right, thanks for watching.